PV and PP to be introduced later can be defined in each of model, subsystem, and body independently. PV1, PV2, PV3 can be defined in model 1. And PV1, PV2, PV3 can also be defined in subsystem 1 or in body 1. Of course, it is possible to give the completely different names to them. As you can see, there are three PVs, PV2 is twice that of PV1, and PV3 is three times that of PV1. And the radius of each sphere is set to PV1, PV2, PV3 in turn. If you change PV1 to 50, the radii of all three spheres are changed accordingly. Similarly, if you change PV1 to 200, the radii of the three spheres change to 200, 400, and 600 accordingly. So far, I have explained parametric value and parametric point. In this session, let me explain why we need to use parametric value and parametric point, and the advantages of using PV and PP. With PV and PP, you can improve the efficiency of managing multiple parameters. In Recurdine, you can certainly use the multi-select function to change the parameters of multiple entities at once. However, if using PV and PP, you simply need to change the PV, PP in their dialog box without multi-selection. As a result, mistakes can be significantly reduced. Similarly, you can manage frequently used parameters or points by setting them to PV or PP. For example, after setting all the hard points of a vehicle model to PP, you can manage them in the PP dialog box. It is also possible to edit different entities at once, such as radius, contact parameter, joint friction and others in the PV and PP dialog boxes. Even with multi-select, it is rather cumbersome to edit different entities at once. However, using PV and PP makes it much easier. At this time, you better give PV and PP the intuitive names. In this seminar, I usually use the names such as PV1, PV2, or PP1. However, in practice, it is recommended to use more intuitive names that users can tell by them easily. In Recurdine, in order to edit the body's radius, the box's length, or others, you must enter the body edit mode one by one. However, using PV and PP lets you edit them without entering the body edit mode. I showed the demo in the previous demo video. The input such as PV1 at Model 1 was used in the demo. However, PV and PP in the different subsystems cannot be used in this way. In this case, you better use parametric connector, which will be explained later. Lastly, let me introduce import-export of PV and PP. It is possible to export PVs and PPs to a separate text file and to import them to other models for reuse. In other words, the frequently used PVs and PPs can be exported to be used as a library. Now let's create a PVC. First, create one PVC and enter three. After clicking the REFS button, select both PV2S in subsystem 1 and body 2. REFS marked as two means that two PVs are connected to the PVC. When clicking the apply button, the values of the connected PVs are changed to three. In other words, the radius of both spheres changes to 3. Now I have completed introducing all the contents prepared. Let's take a look at what I have covered in this seminar. First, PV and PP were introduced. What are PV and PP? How to create PV and PP? Why are PV and PP important? I also introduced PVC and PPC. What are PVC and PPC? How to use PVC and PPC? Lastly, I briefly introduced the scalability using PV and PP. 
DOE and Parameter Designer. The seminars regarding DOE and Parameter Designer are currently at a preparatory stage. Please watch them for more details.